Think mechanical hard drives are history? Think again. Here's why you still might want to buy old-fashioned HDDs in 2025. So SSDs might win on speed, but for long-term storage capacity and cost, they just can't compete with the good old clicky boy with its magnetic platter of bits. That's why some of us at XDA keep buying hard drives for use with a NAS network attached storage for personal backups or cold storage. Whether it's a 20 terabyte Seagate Exos or trusty Ironwolf Pro, these drives can be the backbone of your digital life. SSDs are great for quick access, gaming, editing, system files, but for long-term storage, your data doesn't need lightning speed. Media libraries, archive photos, installers and documents, all that stuff can live perfectly happily on an HDD's spinning platter. Even better, RAID setups and SSD caching cover most performance needs, plus if you're using it in a NAS, your network speed will likely bottleneck performance anyway. And then there's cold storage, that is storage that's set and then powered off for an extended period of time. SSDs degrade faster when left unplugged, which makes HDDs the smarter choice for off-site long-term backups. You can fill a drive, stash it away, and know your data is safe at a fraction of the price per gigabyte. Speaking of price, SSDs will hit a wall here as well. The biggest consumer drives top out at 8 terabytes, and they are eye-wateringly expensive. Meanwhile, 20 terabyte drives are surprisingly attainable. Check Amazon and you'll see them for three or $400. SSDs just can't scale like that yet, not without insane costs and niche hardware. So hard drives aren't going anywhere, even in a world seemingly dominated by SSDs. And if you're serious about archival, they're still pretty much the only game in town.